Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Wow. You want to talk about it really quick, really hard-hitting, really annoying this deck upsets your opponent. Period. Let's show you what we got. Now, a big shout-out to Malice uh, Zinc, Malix X Inc. Uh, he got me hip to this last night on Twitch. Uh, he was using a five-color dinosaur build. I decided to go four and just make it really, really fast. Really, really fast. And allow us to actually uh, sustain, you know, come back if we're really low on life and just shoot up really quick. This deck's explosive. Very, very explosive. Out of nowhere, your opponent thinks they have the game on lock. And then like that, the whole game has just flipped around on them. Let's get into it. Uh, we're going to ramp up. Four Lana War Elves for ramping. Four Migrations for ramping, of course. Three Treasure Maps. Um, this really comes in handy. Treasure Maps is a great card by itself. Uh, Chromatic Lantern, three of those to fix. Uh, Thrawn Temporal Gateway. This is the heart and soul, uh, but we can win without it as well. For four to bring out, and then four tap it, you may put a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Two Regosaur Alphas. Got to have them haste. Uh, two Tetsamok Primal Deaths. This thing's just going to be able to wipe out our creatures, uh, our opponent's creatures. Two Atali Primal Storm. He's even better with haste. Every, every one of these dinosaurs is better with haste. Uh, but he's phenomenal as well. Two Verdant Suns Avatars. This, I didn't have in the deck for the longest time, and then I included them. And, and boy, you're going to see a huge swing where we come back just with this, this card alone. And, and it's like in a blink of an eye, we're at like one life. Next minute, we're at like 20 with like five, six creatures on the battlefield and we didn't have those a second ago. It's ridiculous. Uh, Zatalpa is just extremely powerful. Flying, double strike, vigilance, trample, indestructible, four eights. Really hard to get rid of this thing unless it's exiled. Uh, Gassas Sun's Avatar. This is the key to the deck with Thrawn, Temporal Gateway, and the ramp. You get Vigilance. Uh, this creature has Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. But what makes this thing so powerful, and so many players don't even realize how good this card is, they just, okay, let it hit me, without reading its text. It says, Sun's Avatar, whenever, I'm sorry, whenever Gisath Sun Avatar deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them onto the battlefield, and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order, it's a seven six. We're able to just dump a bunch of dinos in one turn, blink of an eye, out of nowhere. Turn five, easy, bam. Also, we have two galtas, uh, of course, a lot of galata. Three plains, two swamps, three mountains, nine forests, two isolated chapels, one rootbound crag, one clifftop retreat, three temple gardens, and an ark of Araska. Also, for sideboard. Sentinel Totems, deal with Graveyard Hate, Damping Sphere, for the mono red decks, I know, and a few other decks, anything, really, the is it, you know, all that kind of stuff, just threw one Damping Sphere in there. Uh, two Profane Processions, if we have just a lot of creatures, you know, powerful creatures like our, like we have, but we can't compete with them for some crazy reason, which I haven't run into too many issues with yet, we can exile them with Profane Procession. Three Deafening Clarions, uh, of course, nice just to sweep the board. Or give ourselves lifelink and sustain, you know, last a little longer. Two Vraska's Contempts. One Vivian Reed. Three Carnage Tyrants to go against Control. One Banefire Control Friendly as well. All right, guys. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I don't know if you realize that. But when you comment, it makes my day. I do go over the comments. I do read them. I might not always respond. But nine times out of ten, when you see someone that liked it, and there's only one like, it's probably from me. Uh, so yeah, definitely leave a comment and let me know what you guys think of this deck. Let's have some fun. We're going to keep. Oh boy. Instant regret. Uh, instant regret because of the hawk. Hmm. 
Just in case we don't get what we're looking for. If he does nothing, next turn we can Atali. Oh, for sure, Atali. Maybe Regasaur first. We'll Regasaur catch him off guard with a tally. Or at least, at, at, at worst, he'll end up. Um, he'll end up using up a spell to kill Alpha. At worst. But once a tally hits, show time, baby. Ooh, another. Well played, so well played. Well played, my friend. Well played. Oof. But right now, we're at that point. It doesn't really matter which route we go. Um, we are going to go with Holly. Straight up. Now tell me is it going to be you? Yeah. Wow. Cool. And his deck is very aggressive. Keep that in mind. But so is my deck. And we didn't even have to use Thrawn this one. I think that's the, the impressive part. Well, we may have a silver record at some point. We got kitties at scratch. It's all tapped out. I just don't want to take much damage. Now that we have Thrawn, we'll be all right. Isolated David Chappelle. Oof. Wow, nice. I guess had I known that it would have attacked with Alpha as well, but having the haste is pretty big. Flying Vigilance Angel, you don't say. It's a budget deck for sure, pretty cool. Give me a star lot. <clears throat> Force the block for sure.
Can't say anything with haste, you know? Got him. We know he's packing a little punch. I like Regasaur. We only have one in the deck, but one tends to get the job done lately. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Decent amount. Oof. Oof. Okay. I'm just gonna keep it all it is. We had some pretty good luck with that one. Some 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 success, one might say. <laughs> I wanna keep it just because of that. Fingers crossed. We do have a chromatic lantern, it's a little bit of aid. This game's flyer is really a problem. Oh my gosh. Luck of the draw. Luck be on our side. We get Chrome out. Thrawn. Wow. We are doing good. Wrath. This guy has never blocked an avatar before. The sun's avatar. The south sun avatar, to be exact. This is probably my favorite dinosaur now. I thought Carnage Terror it was until I started playing with this thing. Holy crap, was I wrong? Oh, he can counter stuff though. Uh oh. Can he though? Can he counter stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever. We can basically cast him with anything soon. <coughs> He'll counter. We'll get a tally out. Oh, wow. Wow. Phenomenal. That is blowing me away. That that was able to hit the battlefield. Maybe he has like return something to your hand, return this to your hand. If he does though, we can still cast our Atali. Or is he holding out to counter our big stuff? Little does he know, we have more creatures in our deck than he thought. No block. Oh, don't counter my descent. Nice. Nice nice little trick you got there, my friend. Nice trick. Nice tricky dude, man. Alright. Does he know how to deal with one of these? Ooh, that's game. Ah, oh, just one? That's stinky. Only one there. We really loaded up the dino slot there too. I mean, seven, seven cards, only one dino. And we, I think we have 16, 17 dinos in the deck. We should have had at least two there. The average is about two. I've had times where there's three, times where there's one, times where there's none. And none hurts, as, you, as, you, as you've seen, it, it does hurt. <clears throat> He almost got us, but uh, we should seal the deal here in the end. Uh, 
Very, very close game. That's going to leave a mark, my friend. I'm not even worried about that. Because that's what will handle it all. Don't block the avatar! It can mean a difference between winning and losing, though, blocking that thing. Because that's three more we get a dig, yeah. I think we're going to get lucky with this, though. We should get uh, at least one dino out of this one. Two would be fantastic. Oh. I guess it's a blocker, though, so we can turn him down. <clears throat> now he has to pump up that Storm Tamer. Can he do it? He does have cards that do pump. Plus two, and then the plus one, plus one count over here. game. I'm assuming he's got what he needs. Oh, he doesn't. Alright, cool. We'll take a win. Good game, my friend. Good game. Good game, indeed. Alright, I skipped that last match. We ended up going up against uh, Demir, the one with uh, Discard. You know, the really annoying Discard black blue deck. And it went on for like 40 minutes. Between the three matches, like well, maybe 50. It was a long time. Uh, we went one win and then two losses, but it just doesn't make for interesting uh, content. It's just really boring and slow. Perfect. Good hand. All right. We don't need any more land right now, so we can toss that. Any land that we do might need. It's perfect. See, as long as we have a ramp and our Thrawn, we are solid. We are golden. And having Gasath right there is very comfortable. Ooh, what's he doing here? Something fun. All right, all right, all right. Guess we gotta go with Mr. Isolated Chapel. Sure, yeah, it doesn't really matter. No attack. Next turn, Thrawn, as long as he doesn't kill it off. What is this guy going for here? Will he gain life? Oh, no, 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 no block. Okay. Wow, we're able to get Thrawn out. Beautiful. Fair. It's ferocious. Ooh, he didn't block it. Oof, palsy. Oh man, yikes. Consequences, my friend. Consequences. And he has a fast deck. Like, that is a fast deck. He just used on us. He said no. <laughs> Nuts. We did get lucky with that one, though. Deafening Clarions. Uh, what would help us win this battle here? So, we'll take out one. Get rid of Viv. Let's rock it. Very fast. Very fast tech. Both of our decks are really quick. They have the right opening hand, though. 
See, we got a thunder her, but we don't got the matching counter p or counterpart. We don't have its. We don't have its buddy. Mm -hmm. Keep it. <clears throat> Gotta get lucky here. Um. Yeah, just in case we don't get anything. We do have Thrawn out. No turn one, which is... Eh. I do want to grab red. Just we got the white. Uh, I'm thinking about um, Clarion. Okay, perfect. This doesn't matter which one we go now. He probably sideboarded in some exile cards for Thrawn. He, if he takes out Thrawn, I mean, that's, that's huge. Ooh, Chromatic Lantern, really. Interesting play, interesting play. So powerful. So powerful. Oh my gosh. How do you stop that? That's turn four. We did that. Ridiculous. He's going to go right out of the battlefield. So ridiculous. <laughs> Such a crazy deck. Turn five. Is that powerful? Here we go. Showtime at the Apollo. K Dub, what up, K Dub? All right. Yes. But ramp would definitely accelerate this. Just give me any form of ramp. Yes, that is ideal. Two gets ass with a Thrawn early on is is dumb. As you kill one, we got another one coming at you. Galta. He won't even know about the other guy popping up. The other guy popping up in just a moment here. Doesn't matter what color we go. Because we're going to have a gateway. Landon. If he could conclave Tribunal, though. That is a thought. It is a thought. Here we go. Thrawn. If he doesn't get rid of Thrawn and gets off hits, forget about it. Nice flip mode. Oh, flip mode is the greatest. Yeah. 
Well played, sir. Well played. The root pound. All right, let's do this. Let's get lucky with our life gainer dino. Can we find our life gainer dino? A lot of people have to stop and read what this card does. It's in his best interest to double block. But 9 out of 10 people don't block. All right, he definitely read the card thoroughly. You don't you don't play this thing every day. So six from the top, six top. Oh, go down. None. Oh, we got brutalized there. It's all right. We can drop his uh, pride mate. Maybe not. But we do have to block it. He will attack with it, which is cool. So we have one more round at this. One more shot. All right. Tap accordingly. We're gonna need two horses back. Okay. He said nice. I'm really hoping to get that life gainer out. Wow. Completely replenished our life. Fresh. He's now like, whoa. People don't expect this to happen. That's why Vergent's so good in this deck. He just comes out of nowhere. Catches him off guard. Wow. And we were losing. We were done for. Top deck Vergent, baby. Top deck Vergent. Really, really cool. I think in this scenario, we want to include two Deafening Clarions. And for that, we got the bitch. Okay, really cool though. Really neat. Really fun. Like it, it, it's 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 powerful. It's explosive. It's everything you want and so much more in a fun deck. Uh, it is a bit steep though. I mean, you got to save up your wild cards to get stuff like that. It's uh, it's it's quite uh, quite the price tag on it, but really fun to play with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. We'll see you later.